Uh, right now, the Tri City Council deciding the future of the Motor City's medical marijuana shop. Simon Shaykhead is live downtown with an update on an expected vote involving a new tough ordinance. Tell us about that, Simon. Carol and Glenda, this is a really hot issue. In fact, 100 people showed up for public comment here at City Council. Now we're hearing a vote could come any minute. <laughs> A huge crowd cheering at City Hall as council debates the need for tougher rules governing medical marijuana dispensaries. Currently, there are more than 150 shops selling medical marijuana in the city of Detroit. Citizens and shop owners with some very strong feelings. It's too many. There needs to be some regulations. We're fearful of our children walking by those locations. As long as they're doing what they're supposed to do, checking cards, everything is fine. Medical marijuana dispensaries are helping the public. They're here to serve a purpose. Uh, they're keeping drugs out of the community and in the right hands. But beyond some basic licensing passed in October, there have existed really no rules on the books to keep them away from schools, churches, parks, neighborhoods, and other business districts. Council members Tate, Spivey, Sheffield, and others all have said they want to see them moved out to industrial areas and have to pass inspections. That includes more than 30 of them currently along 8 Mile. People think that they can come, businesses, and sometimes people that they could just set up shop in the city and nothing happens. But we have a new council, new administration, I believe, and we're setting new standards and a tone in the city. The downside is that um, the access to the patients, of course, um, may not be on a major bus line or may not be able to get there by walking. Um, but uh, we're trying to be sensitive to all the issues, both the residents, um, schools, patients, uh, owners. The ordinance debated today also would keep them 1,000 feet away from liquor stores and other marijuana shops. Many dispensaries having to relocate or shut down within about 30 days of the effective date. It's a, a big fluctuation of people's coming in and sometimes it'd be the wrong type of people that's coming in. So they need to keep a hand on it. Now, how's this for timing? We're hearing that City Council is actually voting on this as we speak. I am expecting a text from a City Council member to let us know, and as soon as we get that information, we'll be letting you know immediately. Live downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, Simon, for sure. Check back with us if you get something. Thank you much.